Welcome to the Phonics Station. Learning to break words into syllables is crucial for young learners. It enhances their reading and spelling abilities by providing a foundation for decoding unfamiliar words. For this activity, you will need to download and print the worksheet for your students. I have posted a link in the description box below. You will also need pencils, crayons, scissors, and glue sticks. If you and your students enjoy this lesson, please like, subscribe, and share the video with all your colleagues so that we can get the recognition that we deserve for our hard work. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Phonics Station. Did you know, boys and girls, that words can be broken into little pieces of sounds? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to be working with syllables. We're going to clap once for each syllable. Then we're going to cut and paste the number of sounds that we hear, the number of syllable sounds that we hear next to the picture. Let's take the word lollipop, or look at the picture lollipop. The word lollipop, if we clap, when we say the word, we can tell how many syllables are in the, in the word lollipop. You're listening. La-li-pop. How many times did I clap? Three. How many syllables are in the word lollipop? Three. Very good, boys and girls. What I want you to do is get your scissors. We're going to cut along the dotted line or the dashed line. We're going to cut out all of our numbers first. This saves us time. That way, we don't have to paste and then cut, paste and then cut. This keeps us organized. We'll have all of our numbers in front of us that we will need to work with. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut, boys and girls. Just make sure that you don't cut the number because we want to be able to see the number. So we'll know how many syllables are in each word. We're using our pictures and our sounds as clues, our picture sounds. Okay, we have eight pictures and we have eight words, eight pictures, I'm sorry, and eight numbers. We're dealing with, we're working with numbers and pictures. Okay, take a look at the lollipop. Let's say the word lollipop. Okay, you're listening again, and you're going to be listening for the number of claps that I make that will tell us how many syllables are in the word lollipop. Lollipop. How many claps do you hear? Three. How many syllables are in the word lollipop? Three. Okay, I want you to get your glue stick. We're going to get the number three. Take the number three. We're going to give our glue a swirl and we're going to glue the number three next to the lollipop. There are three syllables in the word lollipop. Okay, let's do parrot. This is a parrot. Get your hands ready. Parrot. How many claps? Two. How many syllables are in the word parrot? Two. So we're going to take our picture, our word, and we're going to glue the number two next to parrot, to the parrot. Okay. 
The next picture is monkey. Get your hands ready. Monkey. How many claps? Two. How many syllables in the word monkey? Two. Do we have a two? Yes, we do. Hey, I made a rhyme. Do we have a two? Yes, we do. Okay, the next word is crayon. Okay, get your hands ready. Crayon. How many claps did you hear? Two. How many syllables are in the word crayon? Two. Okay. Take a look at the umbrella. Umbrella. Get your hands ready. We're going to clap out the sounds. Umbrella. How many claps did you hear? Three. And how many syllables are in umbrella? Three. Very good. We're going to take our number three. And we're going to glue the number three where it belongs. Okay, the next word, next picture is octopus. Get your hands together. Get your hands ready. Octopus. How many claps did you hear? Three. How many syllables are in octopus? Three. Make our number three. Give our glue a swirl. And there. Boys and girls, we're doing great. Okay, the next word is kite. Say it, boys and girls. Look at the picture. Kite. Get your hands ready. Kite. How many claps? One. How many syllables? One. Very good. Okay. Dog. Get your hands ready. Dog. How many syllables? How many claps did you hear? One. How many syllables? One. Boys and girls, you did it. Very good. How about that? Okay. So, let's just review. We followed our directions. It says, clap once for each syllable. We did that. And then we cut and pasted the number of syllables next to the picture. The word umbrella has three syllables. Umbrella. The word kite has one syllable. Parrot, parrot, has two syllables. And we went on the same way until we completed our activity. Very good, boys and girls. Now we're going to color our pictures. This is one of my favorite parts, as you know. I'm going to fast forward the video, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, boys and girls, we're done. This was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, boys and girls. Parents and teachers, before we go, please, if you enjoy, if your students enjoyed the lesson, please like, share with all your friends, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can get the credit for all the hard work. Thank you so much and see you next time.